Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brannon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is tutorial number three in a series of tutorials on building a access-based CRUD app or tool. And we are, let's see, in the last video we created our table, we created our fields. And in this uh, video we're going to import the data, the mock data that we generated from mockaroo.com in the first video, the first tutorial and export it into a CSV file. We're gonna now load or import that into our customers table here. So in access here, we've got our table. We are in data sheet view. You can see all of our uh, fields here across the top, our headers. And one of the things I wanted to mention, I may have for forgotten in the first video when we generated our mock data, I think I forgot city. So if you need to go back and watch that video or go back to mockroo.com and generate your data and add a city data point into that, uh, be sure and do that. So I'm going to import this data now. So the, the way that I do that, and I'm in uh, Access 2016, so I have this import and link group on the external data tab. Uh, in previous versions, I believe that there's an import tab, much like this export tab here. And you probably have a selection for text file, or this is uh, exporting the text file. There, there's one that's import from text file, I believe. But for Access 2016 users, it's over here on this new data source dropdown. So I click on that, and I'm going to select from file, and I'm going to go down to text file. Once I click on that, I need to find my file. And I'm going to browse to find that mock data. And then I'm going to use, um, I'm not going to import the source data into a new table. We're going to append that to our customers table, even though it doesn't have any data in it right now. Uh, it does have the field name. So I'm going to append that copy um, of, of those records to our, our current customers table and click OK. Oh, yeah, so I've got it open, so it's going to ask me to save it to close it. That's fine. Click yes. And so it brings us to this import text wizard, the first step. Um, it, the default selection is delimited, and we're going to leave that. We're going to click next, and then uh, the default uh, delimiter choice is on comma. It detects that for us. And you can see your preview of your data here, and you can use the scroll bar at the bottom to kind of check everything out and see how it looks. But this is uh, starting to shape up pretty nicely. I'm going to select, actually click in that checkbox by first row contains field names, and now the field names or the headers are selected that way. And then I'll click Next. And then uh, Import to Table Customers, you're just uh, uh, verifying that, and that's good. So we'll click on Finish and close that. And all right, so now that that's complete, let's go over here to the customers table in the uh, all access objects uh, window. And then I can right click and click on open. Uh, conversely, I can also double click that and it would bring up my um, database table. So this is, I've actually run through importing these uh, records a couple of times. So it's starting at 4003. Uh, I think I've done this three times, so now it's starting at 4,003, and we've got 1,000 records in our database table. You can see here one of 1,000. If I were to press Control down, it'll take me down to the last record, which is 5,002. And then, then this row here is new, so as we add new data, it'll just append that to the last record. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, you've imported your mock data into your customer's table and you're good to go. We'll start working on um, creating some forms and being able to access this data from more of a front-end um, form user interface, if you will. So there you have it. Good job, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe, and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.